What was the element that charmed you to uh, the personality of the Macedonian commander and made you decide to write his biography in okay. when you were 27? I was, I was younger. Younger? <laughs> I did it between the age of 23 and 27 and I had worked on it since I was 15. This was my life. Um, Alexander knew no fear. This is very rare. Everyone watching knows that men are often afraid. Alexander had no fear. Alexander was deliberately motivated by the rivalry with the values of Homer and the Homeric world. This is not some distant fantasy. Macedon had a style of life close to the world of Homer. Which do you think is the most unshakable argument that, uh, which proves that Alexander the Great was Greek? Because <laughs> there's a lot of them. <laughs> there are so many. <laughs> He spoke Greek, he was descended from Greek parents, he worshipped the Greek gods, he lived here in Greek uh, Ege, uh, near Greek Pella. Where do I begin? He loved all Greek culture, he read Greek books, that was his language with a Macedonian accent, of course, like people speak with a Cretan or an Arcadian accent. <laughs> Alexander was Greek, that is it. Yeah. Uh, you made a reference uh, yesterday uh, about Skopje. Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I, have, I will say it again, mm -hmm. uh, for Skopje to claim that they are the birthplace of Alexander the Great is as ignorant as if in Skopje they were to say that Oxford University is really in Belorussia and Shakespeare was born in Minsk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> there is uh, no evidence for it at all. Let's be generous for one moment. Mm -hmm. They may want to be part of Alexander's world and we should respect that and encourage it. But they are nothing to do with his homeland. They must remember they were on the margins. Some of the cavalry perhaps came from Peonia uh, mm -hmm. on the edges of, uh, of Skopje. But Alexander himself, it is nationalist nonsense mm -hmm. to annoy Greece. Is there progress in archaeological research? Are there chances to find his grave? I don't believe we will but you, I never thought we would find Philip's tomb. Mm -hmm. It is down in a deep level, perhaps the ruins in Alexandria below the, the, the street plan, and it has been destroyed and looted at the end, I think, of the fourth century AD. But life is full of surprises. Mm -hmm. uh, 